current uh, state auditor, Republican Tim Berry. Being here tonight, being engaged in the process and being a part of the process this year and learning about the issues, learning about the candidates. As you know, I am the current state auditor and, uh, you know, there are some people that talk the talk, there are others that actually walk the talk and actually are doers. And in my history in public service, I've actually been cutting budgets since before it was cool. You see, I come from Fort Wayne in Allen County, and uh, there I served as Allen County Treasurer and ran the most cost-effective county treasurer's office in the state, lowest cost per capita of any county treasurer's office, reducing budgets, doing more with less. I then was elected as uh, your state treasurer, and uh, we earned a record uh, investment income as uh, state treasurer. But even more than that, we, earned, we returned over 12% of our budget over that cumulative term back to the taxpayers, unspent, doing more with less, finding more efficient ways to do business, becoming more innovative and in cutting our budgets, but yet providing more service to you, the taxpayers. State Auditor, we all certainly know that uh, in Indiana, and across the country, the economy is hurting us, and the economy is hurting us hard. Revenues uh, across state government are down 12% over the last two years. But as your state auditor, I've cut my budget correspondingly 12% and returned 12% back, finding new ways to do business, more innovative ways to do business. At the same time, uh, in state government before I came in, we had hundreds of different financial systems and agencies across state government. And I said, this doesn't make sense. We need to consolidate. We need to come together in an integrated financial system. And so I talked. I walked the talk and actually went and implemented a new integrated financial system for all of state government. A financial system that now not only is costing you less from our office, but is providing you more. A few weeks ago, we implemented a transparency website, and I encourage you to go on and log on, www.transparency.im.gov, where you can find every single salary of state government, every contract in state government, uh, the state budget, uh, all in a searchable format. And we have more that we're going to be providing in the next few months, and we're even asking you to provide us input as to what you would like to see on that website. Because as we all know, it's not the state's money, it's your money. And you as taxpayers deserve to know how those dollars are being spent, and we're providing you that access through that transparency website. I thank you for being here, I thank you for being engaged. I enjoy it and look forward to the uh, questions coming up.
years. And I'm here also because I think we can find some common ground uh, as it relates to the issues affecting the state auditor's office. Our campaign is premised upon three things. Uh, first and foremost, transparency. We think that Hoosier taxpayers need to know exactly where their tax dollars are going. Uh, I will never be a politician that attacks for the sake of attacking. I think Auditor State Barry should be commended for the website that uh, was just launched in the past couple of months. I think uh, uh, we can go a lot farther than that, and that's the direction I'd like to take us. I think we must get down uh, to the transaction by transaction detail so you know exactly where your dollars are being spent. Transparency is about more than dollars and cents. We need to do all we can to build collaborative relationships uh, with other state agencies like the Secretary of State to make sure that small businesses based in Indiana have a chance to compete for dollars that are being bid out by the state of Indiana. That's a critical linkage the two offices can work together on uh, on behalf of future taxpayers to stimulate our economy a little bit. Transparency is our first issue. Our second issue is saving money. There are some innovative things we believe we can do with the business practices of the auditor's office that have been sustained by some independent auditors we worked with uh, that we think can save as much as $10 million in the first six months of us taking office. Uh, I will grant you that $10 million 